how are you? Um, I decided why not cook dinner and talk to you. So I am making, it doesn't have a name. It's um, bow tie noodles with some prosciutto, some shrimp, basil pesto, pour that in, voila. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite meals. And my husband likes it, but it's not his favorite. So anytime he's gone, I'm like, I can eat this every day. So my babies like it, I like it. Here we are. Um, I got my water boiling. I put my salt in there. And it's so funny, cause I don't know why we put salt in the water before we boil noodles. <laughs> and it's one of the reasons why I say, when I, as the kids get older and I find like some hobbies and stuff, I would love to like take a cooking class to like learn the whys and like mixing the seasonings and all that stuff. But that's another tangent. Um, so yeah, I'm just prepping dinner. Um, my dishes, as I, one tip or trick that I do is as I'm cooking, I'm cleaning. So my sink is empty. Those dishes are washed and they're done. Um, making room for these dishes to go in. So it's easy makes dinner process a lot easier once we finish eating and get ready for bed it's not oh i need to clean this off and do that so that's just one tip um yeah so my noodles my water is boiling i have the prosciutto here i have let me show you the basil pesto and i sometimes make my own basil pesto but today like i said we are trying to keep it super easy i just left the gym the kids are outside it's a school night we're trying to go really fast um, but it's this Rayo's homemade basil pesto. I really, I really like this one. And I usually use two of these. Not, well, like one and a half. I don't use the full thing. Um, so here's that. And then my shrimp is ready. So I'm gonna get some butter for that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about this space. I'm excited to be in this space with you and like just talk through things in a longer format because I feel like sometimes when you're in your stories or your reels, nobody wants to go and talk. So I'm happy to be in this space with you. <laughs> um, I'm going to get this started and I'll be right back. Okay, so first I'm going to add my shrimp. Um, I'm gonna use a lot of it because we do have the prosciutto in there too. Can I tell you a funny, funny story about prosciutto? All my friends know about this, but, um, so I have to tell you because you're my friend. <laughs> but it's a super funny story. Um, one, one time, I had this meal at a friend's house and yummy, delicious. When I go to people's house, I love, or, or restaurants, anytime I go anywhere and I like the food, I'm like, ooh, how can I make this? How can I make this my own? Um, so we're at her house and she made this and she made everything from scratch. So I get home and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm adding it to my menu next week. So I send my husband to the store. It's one of our local, very fancy stores <laughs> in our neighborhood. And I tell him everything. I'm like, okay. Get the bread, get the basil, get the pesto, get the proschiotto, right? Proschiotto, right? Proschiotto, because I'm just using my English skills and I'm just sounding out words. So can I share a funny story with you about this meal? All my friends know about it. So you're my friend, I have to tell you about it. <laughs> so this meal I had at one of my girlfriend's house. She was making dinner for her husband and the kids. And she had us over. And me, when I go to restaurants, when I go to people's house, if you make something that I like, I really like, can I have the recipe? Or if it's a restaurant, I'm like, I need to go try this. I need to look up the closest possible way so I can make this. Um, so I asked her if I can make it. I asked her for the recipe. She sent me the recipe. Next week, it's on my menu, okay? Because I love it. I'm just thinking this is the greatest thing ever. So I sent my husband to the store with the checklist. 
I need shrimp. I need bow tie noodles. I need bread. I need basil. I need pesto. And I need proskioto. Right? Because I'm just using my English skills and I'm sounding out proskioto. Right? Right? <laughs> So my husband gets to the store and it's one of like our fancier stores in the neighborhood we used to live in and he's there and he was like babe they don't have proskioto he was like i pulled the ticket i went to the deli they do not have proskioto and i'm like they have to because that's where my friend got it from go and ask them do not come home without the proskioto because i need the proskioto to make this meal that was the major thing babe the man is telling me they don't have proskioto. <sighs> so I sent him the recipe, okay? Because obviously somebody does not understand proskioto. <laughs> he shows the man the recipe, the man in the deli. Oh, prosciutto. I was like, hmm. <laughs> prosciutto? My husband was livid, okay? He was so mad at me because <laughs> how dare I send him to this fancy store looking foolish? But I thought it was prosciutto. I was like, they don't have pros they don't have <laughs> they don't have prosciutto in the hood. But it's so funny. We laugh about that all the time. But this is like literally one of my favorite meals, and I like it because it's so easy and so quick to put together. Um, so like I said, I just left the gym, the kids are outside playing, um, so just something really quick to throw together, and this will last us two nights since my husband's out of town for work, so, yeah, um, I get this shrimp stirred, here we go, bada boom, bada bam, share, what are some of your favorite things to season your shrimp with? Like, I have so many seasonings, and back to this thing where I said one day I want to be able to just, like, take a cooking class, not to, like, become a chef or anything, because I love, I do love to cook, and I'm a really, fairly good cook. I'm not going to say I'm the best, but I'm a fairly good cook, southern girl. I like to be in the kitchen, but I would like to know, like, the why behind everything. You know, like, how some people be like, oh, if you mix this and this, it makes it great. So, like, when I season, I just season. <laughs> like, I don't have, like, a rhyme or reason behind it. Um, I use garlic powder on everything. That's one of my, well, this actually, yeah, garlic powder. I love my accent. And I just use a little smidge of that. I'm trying to get away from um, season seasonings with a lot of sodium. Um, it's something I didn't know about, but as I'm learning, you know, you, the more you learn, the more you know, and you do better when you know better. So I'm trying to get away from like the high, high, high um, sodium. Um, but I like my everything but bagel. I feel like that goes great on everything. And it's a good mixture of everything because, you know, it has the sesame seeds, sea salt, minced garlic, onion, black sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. So I really like that one. Um, I love Slap Your Mama, but y'all, the sodium is like 310. So I'm just putting a little smidge of it. Just a little smidge. Um, and pepper. I love my pepper. Um, and I'm gonna put a little paprika. Just to add a little kick of spice. Um, my babies like spicy. They really do. So just put a little pinch of that. And there we go with that. Um... But you know, like a chef can be like, oh, this is missing the oregano. You know, I just, I love, I, that's one of my dreams to like be able to be, know, taste something and know what's missing <laughs> or know what needs to be added. Um, so yeah, so I just stir this for a little bit and get it going while my noodles are boiling. And I'm also going to do some green beans on the side for us, but I'll start those in a little bit so they won't get too cold. But yeah, how was your day been? Um, I'm excited about this space. Like I said, it is really, I've been wanting to do it, but I'm like, I don't, I don't talk eloquently enough. I don't have all the right words, but sometimes on Instagram it's hard because you want to share more, but you need 
a 15 second story or um, 20 second reel, you know, and it's not long enough. So I'm excited about this space to connect with you and get to know you more and share more about the why and the who behind the heart of trade. So welcome and thank you for being here. Um, I am going to go get the green beans and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so here I got my prosciutto. People might do it a little fancier, but I just kind of like rip it up. Um, we're eating a little later than we usually eat. We usually try to be eating by seven. But like I said, I went to the gym and this is not like a meal. You could cook it early, but I don't really like it. I like this fresh off the um, stove. So yep, I'm just putting this in while they're taking baths. I just go back and forth, check on them. Um, ripping it up, ripping it up, ripping it up. <laughs> and I thought I had green beans, but somebody must have ate them already. So I'm just gonna put some spinach in here. And that'll be our greens. I like to have a vegetable. They really, my, and I, we probably could just eat the spinach on the side and I also have some a spring salad. But uh, I'm just gonna put it in here. I think that'll be tasty. So I'm gonna rip this up. And then I have an extra one and we'll probably just like save that. The kids like to have it with, um, with cheese, with their cheese sticks. So I'll take it and like on their cheese sticks, get it and wrap it around there. They are so funny. Um, I'm like, look at y'all. Y'all know what prosciutto is. Your mama didn't know I was 30 years old. <laughs> so, and I just, I don't, I let this get a little crispy, not too much. I just had my stove on um, right at four. And I'm about to drain the, um, drain the noodles, but the trick that my friend taught me is to keep a little bit of the noodle sauce, maybe like a fourth of a cup, not a lot, um, and add it to it. It makes that basil pesto a little creamier, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm about to drain the noodles now. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the shrimp and the prosciutto is mostly done. What I'm gonna do is take the noodles Pour them back in here. I rinse the bowl out. Pour the noodles back in here. I have a little bit of that noodle juice, like where I just poured it out at. I'm gonna pour just a little bit in there. And then I'm gonna keep it to the side because sometimes you know how like you can see something like, ooh, I need a little extra. So now I open up this Rayo's homemade basil pesto sauce. I really, really like this one. Um, and it's less sodium than the other one I used to use. So I take that, I stir it a little bit. And I'm gonna pour it on in there as I'm like stirring it up. So, okay, here I come, one second. So yep, I'm just pouring all of that in. There we go. And I'll be right back because I have a toddler screaming for me. <laughs> okay, back from my toddler madness. <laughs> um, you don't need a lot of salt. The prosciutto is super salty. Um, uh -uh. I'm gonna take this, put it all in here because it's already cooked. Put it in there. And then I'm gonna put me some spinach um, on here. So it, the spinach is gonna get all that seasoning and stuff too. So I'm gonna pop this in here. I'm gonna need that second jar of basil pesto. Sorry about the dogs. <laughs> they hear they hear somebody pull into their driveway and they get going. But um, 
Yes, fun facts. I have I have one dog, but my baby sister moved in with us and she has a little dog, a little chihuahua. Um, what's the chihuahua and like the weenie dog that the snout over there? I think. <laughs> Hers is a smaller dog. We have a dog that we adopted during COVID. And they told us that he was a terrier and he was about 25 pounds. He is 85 pounds. So they did not tell us the truth. <laughs> Which is not their fault because when you get adopted dogs, you just don't know everything about them. Um, put a little bit of butter. I'm gonna put my spinach on here. You know, spinach shrinks. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. Just clean up as I go to make it not as overwhelming. I'm done. I'm gonna put a little garlic powder on my spinach. Put that back up, my accent up. I use a little bit of my everything but bagel seasoning. Put that one away. Put the paprika away. This goes into recycle. The spinach is not going to take long at all, but while it's cooking, I also have them cro croissants. Um, I can get that word. <laughs> croissants. I'm going to put them some croissants on really quick. Um, I'll be right back. <laughs> 